Hello, painting beefs, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone, guys. You know I'm happy you're here. I'm beyond happy to be here. I haven't painted in eight days. And I'll tell you what, major withdrawals. <laughs> we headed up to Asheville to take care of some things and hang out there and enjoy the mountains and the hiking and the restaurants and the cute little cozy uh, wineries and breweries. And I am happy to be back. And I have been asked by a uh, paint and peep to do a commission piece. And I'm going to do a test run on it. Um, I asked uh, her to send me photographs of the space where she wanted it and the color on the walls and uh, she sent me pictures of pillows which I'll show you which uh, gave me the inspiration for my colors which are in the blues and yellow. And I was a little hesitant with the yellow, and I still am because I don't want to make a lot of green in this painting with the yellow and blue. She also has um, some brown accent furniture, so I figured I'd add a little brown in here. Now, my paints today are exceptionally thin. I'm going to try to get some pearl cells going on in this painting. It's just kind of a trial run to see how it goes. We are working on a 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas, which is a lovely, lovely size, guys. And our colors, our colors are absolutely yummy. Let's talk about our pouring medium first. Our pouring medium is 50% Floetrol. 50% Golden GAC 800 and some Liquitex pouring medium and then water if needed if needed to get it to a nice thin consistency. Uh, and we are very, very thin today. I find that the very thin paints tend to create a lot of the pearl cells due to the different densities of the paint. So you can see that that is extremely fluid. I slowly added water after I added my paint, my pouring medium, and the Liquitex pouring medium. Slowly added my water until they were all as close to being the same consistency as each other. Now, there are some fluid paints in here which took less water and there are some heavier body paints that I needed to add a little bit more water to, like this Aztec metallic brown right here, and this Porridge Posse paint right here. So it takes a little time to mix it all up, but I'm okay with that. I love the mixing process almost as much as the painting process. This color right here is yummy, Porridge Posse Christina's Laguna. Christina Welsh, this is a lovely shade of yellow. It reminds me of butter. Now, this took a little extra water because it was a heavier body paint than my fluid paints. Same with this paint right here. This paint right here is Arteza Pearl Deep Brown. Yummy, yummy shade. Let me show you Christina's butter, buttery yellow color right there. This right here is a yummy color, guys. That's Deco Art Metallics, and that is their pewter. This also took a little bit of extra water because it's a heavier body paint than my golden paints. This right here is my golden fluid acrylics, and that is the Payne's Gray. A little less water because it's a fluid paint. Does it make your head spin? <laughs> Same with this paint right here. This is the golden iridescent silver, and that is beyond yummy, guys. Fluid paint did not take as much water. It's more fluid, more liquid, not as heavy. This color right here, now what was this color? Oh, this is fun right here. This is a mix of the golden paints gray and the golden iridescent pearl. I put just a little bit of this in my cup, added a few 
squirts of the iridescent pearl, my pouring medium, and then adjusted it whether I wanted it darker or lighter, in this case lighter. So I added a little bit more of the iridescent pearl to it. And this right here, that's a beautiful shade. That's one of the shades that is in my uh, Paint and Peeps pillow. And that right there is a combination of the Payne's Gray and the Deco Art Satin Enamel. Just a tiny squirt of this and a tablespoon of that, mixed it up, added my pouring medium to it, and then adjusted the color once again. So. We're going to be painting, guys. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. I want to leave a lot of negative space. My base coat is Golden Fluids Titanium White mixed with the same pouring medium to the same consistency. People ask me all the time, is your base coat heavier or is your base coat lighter? My base coat in this painting is the same consistency as the rest of these paints. Guys, I'm going to dive into this. I'm going to put some tunes on and I'm going to have some fun playing with my paints. And I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. Let's get busy. But it won't end. 